head out to the grill for roast beef. Roast beef done on the barbecue is the best for easy, fuss-free summer cooking. Today, Joyce Parslow with Canadian Beef will show you how to turn your barbecue into an outdoor oven. Let us take you on a trip south of the border with the flavors of lime and smoked chipotles in a lime chipotle beef rotisserie roast. Meet you out on the deck. This is Daily Web TV. It's a beautiful day and we're cooking on the barbecue. Joyce, what great ideas do you have for us with Canadian beef today? Well, today we're going to show you how to do barbecue roasting. Now, barbecue roasting is a great way to do roast beef. It gives you fabulous flavor and it's hands-off, fuss-free cooking. Once the roast is in the barbecue, there's nothing you need to do. It cooks by itself. But how do you get the roast in that perfect shape like that for the rotisserie? Well, this is a beef rotisserie roast. It's been cut and tied in a shape that makes it easy to rotate on the rotisserie. You can use any evenly shaped boneless oven or premium oven roast or buy a rotisserie roast like this one. So I see it has a great netting on it just to hold it all together nicely. Mm -hmm. That promotes a nice even cooking and that's one of the other advantages of having a rotisserie roast. Is there any other way to cook a roast on the barbecue? Yes, if you don't have a rotisserie you can cook by indirect heat. That way your barbecue becomes an outdoor oven. All you need to do is, before you preheat your barbecue, put a drip pan underneath and then uh, preheat the barbecue on high till you get to about 400 degrees. Pour some water into your drip pan and then turn the heat off underneath where your drip pan is. Put your raw roast on the grill right over the drip pan and then close your lid down. Be sure you barbecue roast with the lid down for even heat and faster cooking. Have you done something to prepare this roast? Yes, I marinated it actually for four to 12 hours. Now this is an inside round beef rotisserie roast. So I made a simple marinade of um, hot pepper sauce, garlic cloves that were minced, three tablespoons of minced chipotle peppers and adobe sauce. These add some great smoky flavor and spicy heat to the marinade. Some brown sugar, that helps with the browning of the roast as it cooks. Some ground cumin and Dijon mustard. Half a cup fresh lime juice, and that was it. And pierced my inside round roast all over with a long fork. And Canadian beef is so good for you, with 14 essential nutrients for your good health. Put it in the bag and then put it in the fridge to marinate. After I'd marinated it for 12 hours, just put it on the rotisserie spit, took it out of the marinade, patted it dry, seasoned it, inserted a meat thermometer, careful it didn't touch the spit, and then just put it out on the barbecue. The job's done. So do you just leave it the entire time it's on? You just keep checking the temperature now and then with the thermometer to see when it's done. You want about 140 degrees for medium rare, 150 for medium, or 160 for medium well to well done. You can always baste it with the marinade as long as you've boiled the marinade for a minute. It's safe to baste onto the roast as it's cooking. Once the roast is up to temperature, we're ready to serve. We just take it off the rotisserie spit, snip the um, netting off with some kitchen shears and pull that off. And then we just carve it into thin slices across the grain with a nice sharp knife. Well, Joyce, I can hardly wait to taste it. Thanks so much for sharing your ideas. You're welcome. And if you'd like more great beef recipe ideas, please go to beefinfo.org. Keeping you informed, I'm Sheila Clark and you've been watching Daily Web TV.